Here are your hosts for this evening, Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer. It's a re ka 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 From the Jack D. Whaling Company, Nova Scotia, it's Jack D. Hi, the Chef de la Nuit, it's John Christophe Novelli, he's here. Hey, it's Flambunctious, Cheryl Ferguson. Yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Shooting Stars. Sure, Turkish, 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 Turkish Delight. That Turkish Delight is too powerful for you, Vic. Give us it! <laughs> well, Turkish be, Delight. Be on your own, oh. head. It's too powerful. Oh! Oh! <laughs> too powerful. <laughs> Well, I don't think that uh, affected me too much. Oh! <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> powerful stuff, Vic. That was powerful it stuff, was wasn't powerful it? Well, I did warn you, didn't I? Didn't I warn him? <laughs> <laughs> yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Shooting Stars. Now, if anyone at home is cooking belly pork at the moment, and you'd like a reminder to tell you when the juices are running clear, just press your green button on the corner of the screen now. That's the green button there, just... <laughs> Press that as a reminder. A belly pork supervision service there. <laughs> <laughs> but there's hey. somebody missing, Vic. Who? Someone to keep the scores for you. It's Angelos Epifino! She called me Mr. Grind it up. Good evening, Angelos. All right. So, Angelos, with the, this tat you're selling and you're yeah, DJing, right are you making? Are you? Is that all you're doing to make money? Yeah, just selling, you know, like pens, plastic forks, rubbish, financial advice. Yeah. <laughs> what, financial advice? Yeah. What you lend money? Yeah, I do that. If their credit rating's good, I will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and how do you find out what the credit rating is? Well, it's easy. You just lock on the foot and yeah, yeah, yeah. Or else you ring up the Chancellor of the Tata. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just who? The Chancellor of the Tata. <laughs> ring up the Chancellor of the Tata. And you, like, you say, you go, Hello, yes, it's Angelos here. Hello, Chancellor of the Tata. <laughs> trying to find out a credit rating and all that stuff and everything. And it's, okay, bye. <laughs> He's not in, but you <laughs> It works a treat. Yeah. You know what, you need some careers advice, you, you Angelus. Yeah, well, I was going to ask Ulrika for some careers advice, because, you know, she's done nothing for 20 years and made a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have a bit of that. Thank you, Angelus. Thank you. Angelus. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Luke. Hello, mate. Luke, it's lovely to see you. Thanks for coming along. No, thank you for having me. You're a gorgeous looking fella. Thank you. You're in the TV programme Skins. I was, yes. You were, yeah. I've not seen it. What, what's it about? Potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes, yeah. It's, it's more to do with the, the sex, drugs and the rock and roll aspect of teenage life, but... Oh, you'd be better off with potatoes. I would, wouldn't I? Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The mysterious journey of the potato from seed to completion. Spuds! <laughs> 
It is a rather comical term for a potato, isn't it? <laughs> Luke, thanks for coming along tonight. I'll give you a question. Would you like a question? Go on then. Well, you shall have a question then. Who's got the biggest ass, Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce. Neither, it's David Mitchell. <laughs> Dominic Littlewood. Dominic. Like a Dominican monk. <laughs> have, have you ever been mistaken for a Dominican monk and uh, been forced to genuflect on your forecourt? Not for a while. <laughs> Dominic, true or false? At the recent badminton horse trials, all the horses were found guilty. <laughs> true or false, Tom? I gotta say, a lot of rubbish. False. You reckon that's a lot of rubbish? A lot of rubbish. It's true. No. They were all found guilty and sentenced and shot. <laughs> oh, re ka 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 knackered legs and a dodgy back. Oh, <laughs> ka too many fellas in a sack. <laughs> oh, Rika. True or false? You can tell how good a man is in bed simply by sleeping with him. <laughs> true or false? True. It's true, Ulrika. <laughs> and you would know. <laughs> well done, Ulrika. <laughs> I'm really good in bed. Are you? I'm very good in bed. Oh, well, I'm very pleased. I got to bed. I got to sleep straight away. No jumping up and down. <laughs> No poo poo in the night. Oh, you didn't do a poo poo? No, I don't do a poo poo. Well, well no, done, you. Really good. No, I'm really proud of you. Jack, with your face like an abandoned greenhouse. <laughs> like a miser's hump. <laughs> with your face like a damp busby. <laughs> like a bankrupt pug. Like a disused slot. <laughs> Tell us, what have you been up to this week? No, I've had a bit of a bit of a bad time actually. You know, my my gran and uh, I don't know, but carry on. <clears throat> I um I bought her one of them very big uh, magnifying glasses for reading with, you yeah. know, from the old people shop, and uh, <laughs> it's my gran I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, she was out in the garden uh, reading, and she fell asleep. Was and it a hot day? And it, it set fire to her lap. <laughs> Were you there watching this, Jack? <laughs> I saw it from the upper window, Bob. <laughs> I couldn't get down in time. It was too far to reach. <laughs> it was. <laughs> there are ways of putting out a fire from an upper window. <laughs> that would have been disrespectful. <laughs> Hi, John Christoph. Thanks for coming. How are you? And you're French? I think so, yeah. <laughs> it's not really, I've heard it's from Leicester. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a question first, it's a true or false. Can you tell me, true or false, Daily Mail readers believe that Poland is empty? <laughs> <laughs> is it true or false, sir? Um, you have no idea what I've just said to you. <laughs> do you understand the question? <laughs> Excuse me, can I ask a question? Yes, of course. Who is he, this chap over there? <laughs> That's Andrew Who is he? What did you say? How's it going? Sorry, what did you say? I don't think I understand you. Thank you. Can I've been you... in your restaurant and all. <laughs> can I ask you Selling something? Selling muck, you are. <laughs> Has he got a passport? Yes, I've got three or four. So... <laughs> Two or false? Um, what was the question again? Uh, Daily <laughs> Mail readers believe what? that Poland is currently empty. Well, I don't read the Daily Mail. Therefore, um, I don't. Oh, this is taking that... longer than it should. Just <laughs> 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 say true. True or false? False. False. You're right, it is false. Well done, John Christoph. Well done. So. Cheryl. Yeah. <laughs> Cheryl, now that we're going out with each other, I want to make you an offer that you 